Alright, hello, this is Rocket Bandboy here on YouTube, and otherwise known as Lunar Shadow 69 And today I will show you how to put custom songs onto Guitar Hero for the PC. Right now I'm running Vista Ultimate, um, but the Rocket Dock that you see on top and the sidebar is just a little bit of eye candy. Don't even, don't even look at that stuff. Um, today I'll just show you the basics of what it'll look like when you finally understand all understand all of this like when you can make the custom songs yourself um, basically it's a whole bunch of programs um, like all this stuff I'll show you how to get that as well okay now firstly and foremostly there are some things that you're going to need to understand about the actual data in Guitar Hero 3 for the PC um, just as a side note um, I have Vista running currently but I also have XP and Vista with both of them installed with Guitar Hero 3 However, right now XP on um, the f Guitar Hero for 3 for it is a little bit buggy. I don't even understand it, so don't even worry about it. Now, you're going to be looking into your um, operating system folder if you already installed it. Now, that's probably going to be C for you, but for me it's D. Go into Program Files and Aspire, Guitar Hero 3. Activision and Aspire are the two uh, creators of Guitar Hero 3. Now your actual song data is going to be put into data, of course. Then go into music. Now immediately you'll notice um, a file that's called XEN, and you notice the names of it like Anarchy in the UK, Black Magic Woman, for example, and also even Welcome to the Jungle and stuff. Now, an XEN file is actually a data file that I don't even understand personally, but what it contains is everything that is in a song file. For example, music, star power, um, player one data, player two data, the guitar, a song, the bass part, the song part, and also if there is any offset or anything like that. I'll explain all those later. Now, you'll recognize that Welcome to the Jungle and Anarchy in the UK were there, but you'll also notice if you actually play Guitar Hero 2 before that there's this uh, song called YYZ in there, and also. I can get to it. Sweet Child of Mine as well. Now this is not in the official Guitar Hero 3 song list. What I actually did is that I got the music from Guitar Hero 2 and imported it into Guitar Hero 3. So lucky me I get to play all the songs that Guitar Hero ever made. Now I'm trying to import also the ones from Guitar Hero 1 but that'll take a little while and I'll just have to wait for that later. Now you also notice these four files called Welcome Live 1 1 and Welcome Live 3 3. Actually, um, Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses, they've done a couple live versions of it, and from the Live Era CD, which is a two part CD that they made sometime in the 1990s or something like that, they had a Welcome to the Jungle that was live, and I personally created a custom song uh, data for it and this is the result of it. I actually imported it into Guitar Hero 3 and is currently actually playable. It's not finished, but it's playable. This is exactly what I'll be showing you how to do to create an XEN file and import it into Guitar Hero 3 for your playing. For now, I'll just minimize this um, just to avoid any confusion. Now, in order to do this, there are two th uh, programs that as soon as I explain all this to you, you'll be able to do yourself with relative ease. Um, the first is called a program called Songlist Editor, and another one is called Feedback. Feedback is the program that I use to create the songs. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it, and I'll give you a tutorial for that later. The Songlist Editor, however, is a uh, program that actually imports your personal uh, MIDI charts into Guitar Hero 3 along with the music stuff. So, I'll be showing you what I'll be importing into it. Alright, right now I have these two, or rather three files. Welcome to the Jungle Live dot chart, Welcome to the Jungle Live a MIDI sequence, and Welcome to the Live, I mean Welcome to the Jungle, excuse me, Live OGG file. Now I'll just play this music for you so you understand um, what I'm talking about. Oh, whoops, forget that, forget that. Um, open with Windows Media Player. You know where the fuck you are! You and me too, baby! Wake up! 
Okay, that was a good taster enough. Um, in case that was bad quality, I'm sorry for that, and I apologize, but unfortunately, Hypercam only allows input from a microphone and nothing else, so you'll have to put up with me for that. Okay, great, now let's start importing. For the import, we're going to be using the song list editor, as I so described. Um, open it. Now, right now, there isn't anything to see because there's no data loaded. We're going to have to go to File, Open. Now for you, most likely what it automatically opens to will be correct. Um, that'll most likely be C, but in my case, I'm using Vista, so I'll have to go to my Vista hard drive. 